let us see the next question ma limited is commencing a new project highlight the portion new project for manufacturing of plastic components the following cost information has been ascertained for annual production of 12000 number of units highlight the portion which is the full capacity so at full capacity of 12000 number of units cost per unit is given cost per unit is given for material it is an amount of 40 rupees direct labor and variable expenses 20 rupees highlight the portion fixed manufacturing expenses an amount of rupees 6 depreciation an amount of rupees 10 fixed administration expenses related to the factory it is an amount of rupees 4 so the total comes to 80 per unit selling price is expected to be 96 selling expenses rupees 5 per unit 80 percent of which is variable so this 5 rupees is divided into two parts use your calculator 5 into 80 percent that comes to 4 so 4 rupees is variable and 1 rupee is fixed in the first two years of operation production and sales are expected to be as follows production will be 6000 in the first year and sales will be 5000 in the first year production will be 9000 in the first year and 8500 would be sales sorry production will be 9000 in second year and sales will be 8500 in second year to assess working capital requirement the following additional information is available stock of raw material 2.25 months of the average consumption zero wip data it means average collection period one month cash balance of 10000 creditors for supply of raw material one month average purchases during the year creditors for expenses one month average of all expenses during the year prepare for two years that is for first year and second year projected statement of the profit and loss ignoring taxation second projected statement of the working capital requirement that is what they have provided i request all of you to go through the question and then we'll discuss the question so let us have understanding of this question the question is providing the information like this information is given that say there is a company which is going to launch a new product like that say information is given it means that it is going to be the very first year and second year of the business the question is providing that at full capacity we can produce 12,000 number of units and at that output level they have provided the cost structure in the first year and second year what will be the production what will be the sales what are the selling expenses how much is variable what is the selling price all that information have been given to us the question is providing some information which is going to be useful to us for calculation of the working capital requirement so i keep this on hold for two minutes that is at least for the purpose of doing first part of the question it is not required now in the first part of the question we are required to compute the profit or loss let us understand and say how to make the calculation of the profit or loss for the first year and second year i request all of you to do answer for projected profit or loss for year one you do for first year then i will do you do for second year then i will do that is the sequence in which we will do answer so please try to do answer for first year only not for both the years first year only projected profit or loss and put your answer in the chat box so write an answer along with me calculation of
projected statement of profit or loss for year 1 and year 2 so let us see how to do answer for first year and second year we have to work out the answer so first of all of course we will be focusing on the year 1 raw material consumption we know that in the first year we are going to produce 6000 number of units cost of raw material is given 40 rupees so it comes to 240000 next is the direct wages we have been provided with information again 6000 number of units into cost per unit is 20 direct wages and variable expenses it is an amount of 120,000 third information is given fixed manufacturing expenses Dear students, importantly, as far as the fixed expenses are concerned, it is going to remain same in total whether we produce less number of units or we produce 12,000 number of units. So importantly, the fixed manufacturing expenses of the 6 rupees that will be multiplied with total production number of units at which the cost structure is prepared. The cost structure is prepared at which activity level is very important in order to compute the total fixed cost. If it would have been prepared at some other activity level, then that activity level into 6 will become the total fixed cost. That is an amount of 72,000. Next, depreciation. Again friends, depreciation is based on the time period, so it is going to be fixed. It is 10 rupees per unit into 12,000, so it is 1,20,000. Fixed administration expenses related to the factory. Fixed administration expenses. related to factory that is provided 4 rupees per unit into 12,000 number of units that comes to 48,000 so we will make total of all this to make the computation of cost of goods produced this is the cost of goods produced 2,40,000 so use a calculator 2,40,000 plus 1,20,000 plus 72,000 plus 120 plus 48 that comes to 6 lakhs add opening finished goods in the first year it is 0 less closing finished goods we understand that so the 6 lakh rupees is the value of the goods that we have produced divided by 6000 number of units because production in the first year is 6000 we can see that say out of 6000 5000 number of units are sold so the closing stock is 1000 number of units because of course the opening is zero Plus we have produced 6,000 and we have sold 5,000. So there is a closing stock of 1,000 number of units. 6 lakhs upon 6,000 into 1,000. It comes to rupees 1 lakh. So 
सो कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स प्रोड्यूस इज सिक्स लैक्स प्लस जीरो माइनस वन लैक दैट विल गिव कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड दैट इज सी ओ जी एस इट इज एन अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीज फाइव लैक्स दिस इज कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड नेक्स्ट इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवन फॉर द सेलिंग एक्सपेंसिस वी हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड विद द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट द सेलिंग एक्सपेंसिस आर फाइव एंड एटी परसेंट इज वेरिएबल सो वी कैन राइट ओवर हियर सेलिंग एक्सपेंसिस इन दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम राइटिंग वेरिएबल एज पर वेरिएबल सेलिंग एक्सपेंसिस आर कंसर्न That's very simple to calculate. Five rupees into eighty percent. That comes to four. Four into five thousand number of units. That comes to twenty thousand. Next is the fixed. we understand it is 5 into 20 percentage into 12000 number of units so 5 into remaining 20 percentage into number of units at which this cost per unit is calculated so 1 into 12000 is 12000 okay so cost of goods produce 5 lakhs plus 20000 Plus twelve thousand. That will give us cost of goods sold. I'm sorry. Cost of sales. It is five lakh thirty two thousand. How many number of units are sold? Five thousand. What is selling price? It is ninety six. Five thousand into ninety-six, so sales value is four lakh eighty thousand. Sales minus cost of sales. So let us say that this is A and this is B. We'll compute the profit or loss. It is A minus B. Four lakh eighty thousand minus five lakh thirty-two thousand. So there is a loss of fifty-two thousand. This is the way the amount of the profit or loss that will be calculated. in the first year please take down answer for the first year and try to calculate the answer for the second year on your own this cost of goods sold is calculated as Six lakhs plus zero minus one lakh. try to compute answer for the second year and put your answer in the chat box so let us see how to make the calculation for the second year before i start answer for the second year i am preparing a small working note working note for calculating closing stock units in year 1 and year 2 okay so first year and second year it is opening stock add production 
less sales and that will give the closing stock. That is what we understand. In the first year, opening stock is zero. Production is 6,000. Sales is 5,000. So closing stock is 1,000. In the second year, opening stock is 1,000. Production is 9,000. Sales is 8,500. So what will happen? 1,000 plus 9,000, that is 10,000. 10,000 minus 8,500, so the closing stock is 1,500. So this is the way we can compute the closing stock of the units for second year at the end of the second year. Now let us start with the second year. In the second year, the production is 9,000 number of units. Cost of the direct material is 9,000 into 14. That comes to 3,60,000. Direct wages is again 9,000 number of units into 20. That comes to 1,80,000. Fixed manufacturing expenses are 72,000. Because it is not going to change irrespective of the production, equal to 12,000 or less than that. Depreciation same 1,20,000. Fixed administration expenses related to factory will not change once again. Why? Because it is again given fixed. So cost of goods produced will be found like this. Kindly use a calculator once again. 3,60,000 plus 1,80,000 plus 72,000. Plus 1,20,000 plus 48,000. That comes to 7,80,000. That is cost of goods produced. Opening finished goods for year 2 will be 1 lakh. Closing finished goods for the second year. Now friends, at this point of time, you have a choice. Either you can do the answer based on the FIFO method or you can do with the weighted average method. If at all there is any clarification made in the question, you have to follow that mandatorily. But if at all such kind of clarification is not made, then in that case you can do FIFO method or weighted average. Let us follow weighted average method. We understand that say the cost of goods produced is 7,80,000 divided by number of units. We can see that say the second year production is provided to us as 9,000 number of units multiplying with, we know that say the second year end, the closing stock is 1,500. So 9,000 into 1,500. This is the way the closing stock for the second year will be found. 7,80,000 into 1,500 upon 9,000. It comes to 1,30,000. So that will give us cost of goods sold. So I request all of you to use your calculator 7,80,000 plus 1 lakh minus 1,30,000 is 7,50,000. This is the way cost of goods sold can be calculated. Opening stock 1 lakh plus cost of goods produced is 7,80,000 minus closing stock is 1,30,000. <coughs> Now the variable selling expenses, again it is 5 into 80 percent, that comes to 4, 4 into 8500 number of units, it comes to 34,000, fix will be 12,000, as far as the cost of sales is concerned, 750 plus 34 plus 12. 7,96,000. How many number of units are sold? 8,500. What is the selling price? 96. 8,16,000. So 8,16,000 minus 796. So that results into profit of 20,000. This is the way the second year profit or loss can be calculated. 
Please take note answer. So small summary of the year 1 and year 2 profit and loss account. Raw material, direct wages, both of them are variable expenses. So it will be incurred based on the number of units that we have produced. Fixed manufacturing expenses, depreciation, fixed administration expenses related to the factory, all three of them are fixed. So in total it is not going to change. Total of all of them is cost of goods produced. Opening finished goods in year 1 is 0. Out of 6000 number of units, 5000 number of units are sold. And 1000 number of units is lying in the closing stock. So what will happen? 6 lakhs divided by 6000 into 1000. Closing finished goods stock valuation is 1 lakh. So 6 lakhs plus 0 minus 1 lakh. So cost of goods sold is 5 lakhs. Variable selling expenses are 20,000 and fixed selling expenses are 12,000. So the cost of sales is 5 lakh 32,000. From the sales, cost of sales is deducted to find profit or loss. In the first year, unfortunately there is a loss. In the second year, Up to cost of goods produced, everything is exactly the same what we have discussed. Now the opening stock of the second year is equal to the closing stock at the end of the first year. In valuation of the closing finished goods at the end of the second year, I have prepared a small working note so that so there is no confusion. Opening stock is 1000 number of units, production is 9. 9 plus 1 that comes to 10. Minus 85 number, 8500 number of units that we have sold. So the closing stock is 1500 number of units. So 7,80,000 is the cost for 9000 number of units. So for 1500 it is how much? That is the way the closing stock is calculated. Then COGS, variable selling expenses, fixed selling expenses are added to compute the cost of sales. And finally the profit or loss is calculated for second year as well.